So welcome to the Business Leadership Blueprint mini course. I'm so pumped up and excited to have you here. Now in this mini course, I'm gonna teach you the skills so that you can confidently build your business, attract the right clients, and make a massive impact without sacrificing family time or burning yourself out. Now for those who don't know me, my name is Mark Hildebrandt. I'm the co-creator of the Push Coach Certification Life Coach School. I'm a father, a husband, a former LAPD sergeant for 20 years, and I'm a life and legacy coach for entrepreneurs. Now, what you're going to learn in this mini course is literally what helped me be able to excel in all of those areas. It was finding a system that I could plug into to make sure that I could attract the right clients, make the biggest impact, and get people to take more consistent action so that I wasn't wasting my time and my energy without getting anyone results. If that's something you're looking for, this is the mini course for you. So why do I call this the business leadership blueprint? Well, really it's because business has a lot to do with leadership, not only leading others, but also leading yourself. I remember when I was listening to John Maxwell and he described it like this. He said, I want you to all think about your leadership on a scale of one to 10. Let's say that you're a level four or a level five leader. Naturally, you're gonna be able to lead other people who are either level one or up to a level four. But if you are able to increase your skills and your confidence to a level seven or eight, you would now be able to attract even more higher level leaders. Now in this mini course, I'm gonna give you a boost when it comes to your leadership potential. But I also want you to know that this is also something that you can use in multiple other areas of your life. When I was first taught this system by my mentor, it was specifically designed for business, which is what we're gonna be talking about here today. But in reality, I've been able to use this same system when it comes to parenting, when it comes to husbanding, when it comes to working my career, you can use this system in all of those areas so that you can make a bigger impact, create more influence, get more people to take consistent action, and in turn, help you hit all of your goals when you're helping others hit theirs. Now, these are all skills that people can learn and develop. You do not have to be born with these. But if you're ready to lean in, get a little bit uncomfortable, and level up your leadership lid, let's go. So what's the best and quickest way to authentically build your influence and attract the right people? The system we're going to be plugging into is called the four M's. Today, we're starting on the first M, which is modeling. Most people describe modeling as you taking the actions that you want to see other people take. Now, there's one caveat to this as well, and that is like, are you making those actions visible to others? So if you want to attract high-performing leaders, are you taking the actions that high-performing leaders take? And are you making that visible to the outside world so they will naturally see your current leadership level? Modeling is sort of like jumping into the trenches, being down on the ground floor and being willing to do the things that you absolutely know you need to get done. But it's also you telling people through your actions rather than through your words. This is not only a good way to attract high-performing leaders, but it's a way of getting the people who are currently following you who have that potential to get up and get after it once again. Now, here's the tough part. I really want you to analyze when it comes to the activities that you're taking. If you have a social media business, which is what most of us coaches do, I want you to take a look at some of your recent posts and stories and videos. Are you leading from the front? Are you taking the actions that you want others to take and are you making it visible to them? If not, what adjustments do you need to make? Listen, shame, humiliation, guilt, all of those things are not a part of leadership. Please do not use them against yourself. They are not helpful. Instead, just ask yourself, what adjustments can I make moving forward? What was this trying to teach me? And then be willing to learn that lesson. Now that you're going out there and modeling the behavior, you're naturally gonna get people to start having their eyes on you. But from this point, what do you do to keep them inspired, motivated, and taking action? That is the topic of tomorrow's video. We're gonna dive into the second M. Today, I want you to focus primarily on modeling the right behavior, not only in your business, but also with your family and with yourself. Are you taking the actions that you want other people to take? Keep leading from the front, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.